our primary mission here in the Solomon Islands was to obtain some data on turtle movements from these nesting beaches. We had previously done this in uh, Papua New Guinea and West Papua, Indonesia. So we came here to fill in the, the Solomon Gap. At Santa Isabel Island, uh, a monitoring program has been established at Sasakolo Beach by the Nature Conservancy. And this is one of the beaches that has historically had one of the greater nesting densities in the Solomon's Archipelago. Well, this really is the beginning of the higher density nesting area. And this is probably where we'll work mostly tonight, because this is where most, mo more of the turtles come out. This is the most recent nest. They had four turtles last night. So you can already see the, the high tides have washed this over. It's going to be really hard to, to detect, count these from the air. Okay, actually this nest is interesting. It's an older nest than the one we just saw. And yet uh, it's much more visible. So something about the tides aren't coming and washing them away. So we're going to get variable attrition rates, which is going to figure into the aerial surveys. And you can see also... Turtle's gone up as high as it can, up, up uh, into the berm there, trying to lay its eggs uh, high up on the beach so they don't get washed away. Now this is a, a typical uh, Solomon Islands uh, new, new settlement, and it has been developed purposely for the conservation and protection of uh, leatherback uh, turtles nesting on their uh, beaches here to ensure that uh, people don't come in and disturb the nesting activities of leatherbacks. This is the chief, chief's wife, uh, his grandson, and this is his daughter. When the chiefs um, want to establish this uh, conservation, I think our um, tribe and our families have um, full support to establish that um, project. <laughs> They also uh, want to make sure that they, they monitor the, the nesting activities here. This is the diary book, so it is a daily, daily record book. So we have to do it every morning while check the beach. This is um, special or in a way unique because uh, uh, what is happening right here can be a model for other communities in the Solomons to, to follow. And here we have not one family, but the whole uh, tribe uh, doing this, and this is uh, unique. Leatherback turtle is endangered species, and it's unique for the turtle to come and nested in our beach here. We need to conserve that, and that is why the tribe and our leaders are coming up with the idea to conserve the leatherback here at Sakol. As a government officer responsible for the protection and conservation of uh, this, um, um, this rare animal, um, we are quite concerned that uh, we need to uh, get the information to people through awareness to let them know that I mean, uh, these animals are rare and they need to be given better protection uh, in order to increase the population. Conservation in, in general, uh, in Solomon Islands is, is improving uh, for the last five years and this has happened due to the fact that we have a lot of more than one international NGOs who are now working in the country who are focusing on assisting communities in resource management and for this case uh, leatherback is, is one of the target species that these organizations together with the communities and the government are trying to come up with new initiative in terms of resource management and it is a good sign for wood for this specific species in this regard the leatherback turtles. Not too far away from Sasakolo Beach on, also on Santa Isabel Island was Lithogarhira, also one of the uh, beaches that was identified by John Pita and Peter Ramohia as one of the largest density uh, nesting beaches for leatherbacks in the Solomons. Um, there's nobody there, there's, they don't have any monitors in place there yet, 
Um, it's just pretty much the leatherbacks and the uh, crocodiles in the river there, and of course the, uh, the forest and the birds. Despite its emptiness, it's a very, very beautiful place, and you got the impression that you might have been seeing something that has been unchanged for maybe the last uh, 50 years or maybe longer.